U.S. may send additional military advisors to Ukraine. The U.S. believes that Russia appears to be gaining momentum in the two-year conflict. They are considering the possibility of sending additional military advisors to the embassy in Kiev, reports Politico. Pentagon spokesperson Major General Pat Ryder stated that advisers would not have a combat role but would advise and support the Ukrainian government and armed forces. Throughout this conflict, the Department of Defense has reviewed and adjusted the U.S. presence in Ukraine as security conditions change. We are currently considering the possibility of sending several additional advisers to enhance the Defense Cooperation Office at the Embassy, Ryder said in a statement to Politico. Ryder added that the office performs various advisory and support missions that are non-combat in nature. Throughout this conflict, the Department of Defense has reviewed and adjusted our presence in-country as security conditions have evolved. Currently, we are considering sending several additional advisors to augment the Office of Defense Cooperation at the Embassy, Ryder said. The number of personnel in the Office of Defense Cooperation is not disclosed for security reasons. Anonymous sources told Politico that the office's tasks include monitoring the weaponry sent by the U.S. to Ukraine. The additional troops will support logistics and oversight efforts for the weapons the U.S. is sending Ukraine, according to four U.S. officials and a person familiar with the plans who were granted anonymity to speak about a sensitive topic, the sources said. Two American officials have stated that the Office of Defense Cooperation will provide security for the embassy. Their number could reach 60. Those personnel are helping with oversight and embassy security. It was not clear how many additional U.S. troops would ultimately be sent to Ukraine, but two of the U.S. officials said the number would be up to 60, Politico's sources said. Recall on April the 20th, the U.S. House of Representatives approved aid to Ukraine. The total amount of the aid bill to Ukraine is $60.84 billion. The bill will now be sent to the U.S. Senate for consideration. President Joe Biden has called on the Senate to quickly send the bill to him for signing. A total of 11 people are missing after continuous heavy rainfall hit many parts of South China's Guangdong province in recent days, the Provincial Emergency Management Department said. According to Xinhua, the search and rescue operations are still underway, the department said, adding that six of the missing individuals are from Jiangwan Township, Xiaoguan City, while the other five are from Dalong Village, Qingyuan City. I in the city of Xiaoguan in the north of the province, where large areas are flooded and landslides have been reported. Rescuers were sent to relocate trapped residents and transport food and other materials. The most seriously affected areas are located along the Bay River, a southern tributary of the Pearl River, which flows from Xiaoguan to the Pearl River Delta. The recent heavy rainfall has affected many cities, including Xiaoguan, Guangzhou, Haiyuan, Jiaqing, Qingyuan, Meizhou, and Huizhou, resulting in damaged houses, blocked roads, and landslides. Provincial authorities warned that water levels in the Bay River were expected to hit once-in-a-century levels after another flood earlier this month. They later downgraded the warning, saying water would reach once in 50 years levels. In Guangdong province, more than 54,000 people have been relocated across the province, with 12,256 people being urgently resettled, the department said. So far, 36 houses have collapsed, 48 houses have been severely damaged, resulting in a direct economic loss of nearly 140.6 million yuan or about 19.8 million US dollars.